Stop waiting for permission to succeed in your life. I want to talk about a topic today. It's an idea, and I, I deal with a lot of new entrepreneurs, and I see it happening in them more than anyone else. And it's this idea that we need external validation. We need permission before we can take action or before we can do things, whether it's in just in our personal life or in our business or whatever. And the psychology behind that really kind of, it, it interests me, but it also disturbs me to see how many people actually require external validation before they do things. It's like this false sense of, I need to be certified or I need somebody else to say, yes, you're at a qualified level to talk about something or to do something or to take action. And I think it's a really, it's, it's a really self-limiting mentality to be in because who are you waiting for to certify you? Who are you waiting for to take an action in your life that could actually elevate you to a new level? And at the same time, are you the kind of person that actually looks at other people and looks at their credentials and the things that they've done on paper before they actually look at the person and their character and the results in that person's life? It's a, to me, it's a backwards way of thinking. So the idea here is stop waiting for permission to succeed. Stop waiting for permission to do things and give yourself the permission. Take the action that you want to take. And I want to talk about, let's talk about it from a couple different angles. One, from a business perspective, if you're just getting started out or if you're fairly new to business, you probably have some ideas you want to implement. And I bet you at some point, I know what's happened to me at some point, you come up with an idea, then you question yourself immediately. Am I capable of doing this? Am I qualified to do this? And I'll give you my personal example. When I first started out, I was a corporate employee and I really wanted to become an entrepreneur. I love the idea of just running seminars and getting to, to talk to people and, and creating events where I could inspire people and, do, and just give them something new to think about in their life. And so what I wanted to do was a goal setting seminar and, uh, and I just thought about it a lot. But eventually I said, well, why don't I just run the thing and see what happens? And it's like, who, who is going to give me permission to do that? Nobody. Nobody could, nobody could come along and say, I can't do that. Now, there might be, people might question, well, what, you know, what experience do I have to do a goal setting seminar? And to a degree, they're right. But at the same time, had I set and achieved any goals in my life? Yes. So it was a topic that I've had experience with and I could do. I wasn't an experienced speaker on the subject, no, but that, that's fine. I, I had a couple ideas in my head and I had the initiative to create an event and hopefully people would show up. So that's how I, that's how basically how I got started in entrepreneurship. I just decided to run my own workshop and not a lot of people showed up, but some people showed up and they gave me some valuable feedback. It wasn't the greatest thing I've ever done in my life, but it got me started and people actually gave me a little bit of a boost saying, you're on the right track here, you know, keep going. You've got some good ideas that people need to hear. So I gave myself permission to run that workshop and it, it set, off, set off a chain of events that led me to where I am today as a full-time business owner, which is exactly where I wanted to be the three years ago when I started doing that thing. So uh, permission to succeed, you have to create it in yourself. But I want to talk about it at a bigger and more important level and what got me thinking about this topic altogether was the Ben Hogan story. So I don't know if you've heard this, but Ben Hogan, uh, famous, one of the most successful golfers, professional golfers that's ever lived. Well, he was kind of in the earlier stages of his career when he got in this terrible, terrible car accident. Like, it was bad. He, and uh, he saw the, the accident coming, and he dove over in front of his wife to, to kind of protect her so she wouldn't have been as badly injured. And he succeeded in that. She was actually fine. But the impact crushed his body. And, and the, when the people got there, the paramedics and the, the police and all that got there, they were just convinced that he was probably not even going to survive the night, never mind walk again or play golf or anything like that. And his golf clubs were actually on the road, like they'd been shot out of the car. And uh, his wife actually asked the officers to go pick up the golf clubs and get them and round them up for, uh, for Ben because she knew that he'd want them back. And they, were, they basically took the mindset of, he's not going to need these golf clubs anymore, lady, like this guy's in bad shape. And then again, here we talk about this, this, this permission mentality, like who are these people to say whether this guy's going to get better or not? They don't know. They've just seen the situation. Then it got worse. He gets to the hospital and the, the, the doctors are looking at him and doing operations on him and all this. And even they're saying this guy's never going to walk again. But he insisted that his golf clubs get put above his, his uh, bed so he could look at them and constantly visualize and see himself and picture himself back in good form and golfing again. Even though all these other people who are apparently the permission givers in this situation are saying, look, buddy, you're not going to play golf anymore. Well, he did play golf again. I think it was like the next year. He was back out golfing again, and he won a major title, like the hardest thing to do in professional golf. It's hard enough to just make it as a professional golfer. He won the whole thing, and he gave himself permission to do that, to get better and come back from that, and that's the psychology I want to talk about here. It's like this is the psychology we all need to get into if we want to be successful. It's creating your own permission to do what you want to do, 
not waiting for external validation, creating your own. So I hope that's given you some ideas. Maybe there's something you're facing right now that you're just you're not sure. Uh, am I qualified? Do I have the certifications? Who cares? Go for it. If you can deliver value and the people and the people in your audience can appreciate what you have to offer, I say go for it. Fall on your face if you need to, but learn from the experience. I look forward to your feedback on this topic.